hello viewers in today's class we are going to solve an important definite integral uh, which involves greatest integer function so here we have to uh, find the value of this definite integral from 2 to 3 greatest integer function x square minus 2x plus 5 dx right okay so let us start so let us uh, denote this integral by the letter i right and here we see that the uh, lower limit is 2 and the upper limit is 3 right and uh, let us denote uh, this function by f of x so we have f of x as greatest integer function x square minus 2x plus 5 and x belongs to the interval uh, 2 comma 3 right so when x belongs to 2 comma 3 let us find uh, the interval in which x square minus 2x plus 5 belongs to right so here when x is 2 because uh, x belongs to 2 comma 3 and when x is 2 the value of this quadratic expression is 2 square minus 2 times 2 plus 5 so we have 4 minus 4 plus 5 so we have 5 here right so here we have 5 now when x is 3 then the value of this uh, quadratic uh, expression is uh, 9 minus uh, 6 plus 5 so we have 3 plus 5 that is 8 right so when x belongs to 2 comma 3 then x square minus 2x plus 5 it belongs to 5 comma 8 right now let us express uh, this interval on the number line so here we have 5 and here we have 8 and we see that uh, there are two integers 6 and 7 which lies between uh, 5 and 8 right so so now uh, we can break this function into uh, three intervals right from 5 to 6 6 to 7 and 7 to 8 so now we can write uh, the function f of x uh, that is uh, greatest integer function x square minus 2x plus 5 is equal to right now we'll uh, write the value of uh, this function uh, in these three intervals right the first one is 5 to 6 second one is 6 to 7 and uh, the third one is 7 to 8 so now here uh, we have uh, the inequalities that is uh, x square minus 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 5 and less than uh, 6 right and the second interval is uh, x square minus 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 6 but less than 7 and the third interval is from uh, 7 to 8 so we have uh, this inequality right okay so now uh, here uh, we have to uh, give the value of this function in these intervals so when uh, this quadratic expression it lies between 5 and uh, 6 the value of uh, f of x is equal to 5 when this quadratic expression it lies between 6 and 7 then the value of f of x is 6 and when it lies between 7 and 8 this quadratic uh, expression then the value of the function is 7 right so here we have used the definition of the greatest integer function so uh, let us explain it further because when this expression right this quadratic expression lies between 5 and 6 the value of f of x is 5 uh, uh, here we can take uh, one example suppose we have uh, a value here say uh, 5.6 right so 5.6 it lies between 5 and 6 and uh, 
when x square minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 5.6 then the value of greatest integer function x square minus 2x plus 5 which is greatest integer function 5.6 and uh, due to the definition of uh, greatest integer function uh, 5.6 this expression is equal to the greatest integer less than or equal to 5.6 so 5 is the greatest integer uh, that is uh, less than or equal to 5.6 so here we have 5 so that's why the value of f of x is equal to 5 here similarly we can uh, explain uh, 6 and 7 uh, suppose here we, if we take the value 6.1 here say right so when the value of uh, x square minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 6.1 then the value of the greatest integer 6.1 is equal to 6 because we have to find the value of greatest integer less than or equal to 6 right so that's why uh, we have 6 here similarly when x square minus 2x plus 5 lies between 7 and 8 uh, for example suppose here we have 7.9 right then what will happen then x square minus 2x plus 5 is equal to say 7.9 then the value of the greatest integer function uh, that is f of x this is f of x right so here the value of uh, uh, greatest integer 7.9 is equal to 7 clear so that's why here we have 7 okay so viewers uh, here we have assigned the value of f of x as 5 6 and 7 uh, whenever this quadratic uh, uh, expression lies between the two numbers uh, which are written here clear so let us now uh, express these three inequalities uh, in terms of uh, uh, the values of x right so what we will do uh, we'll take this uh, first inequality which is 5 less than or equal to x square minus 2x plus 5 less than 6 right and let us express this inequality uh, uh, as a value of x lying between some interval right so let us see how we can do it okay so now uh, here x square minus 2x plus 5 can be represented as x minus 1 uh, square plus 4 right less than 6 clear so this quadratic expression can be written like this and now if we solve this inequality by subtracting 4 throughout then here we have 5 minus 4 and here we have x minus uh, square plus 4 minus 4 and here we have 6 minus 4 right so here we have 1 here we have x minus 1 square and here we have 2 and now taking the square root we have 1 here here we have x minus 1 and here we have a square root of 2 clear now adding 1 throughout so here we'll have 2 here we'll have x and here we have 1 so here we have 1 plus root 2 clear so here we have added 1 throughout so now uh, this inequality is expressed like this clear so now uh, in this uh, form of the function this quadratic function lies between 5 and 6 now here x lies between 2 and 1 plus uh, square root of 2 so now uh, here we can write uh, f of x can now be written as 5 uh, comma and here this inequality is now replaced by uh, this inequality that is uh, here we have 2 less than or equal to x and less than 1 plus square root of 2 clear now uh, let us adopt the same method in solving these two inequalities
now uh, we have this second in inequality here and uh, let us express this as x minus 1 square plus 4 and uh, here we have uh, 7 right now subtracting 4 throughout to we have here 6 minus 4 2 and here we have x minus 1 square and here we have 7 minus 4 that is 3 now taking the square root here we have a square root of 2 here we have x minus 1 and here we have a square root of 3 now adding 1 throughout we have 1 plus root 2 here and here we have x and here we have 1 plus root 3 so now this inequality is equivalent to this one so here x is uh, greater than or equal to 1 plus square root of 2 but less than 1 plus square root of 3 so now uh, here we can write uh, the value of f of x as 6 and uh, we can now write uh, 1 plus square root of 2 and this is less than or equal to x and less than uh, 1 plus square root of 3 clear now similarly uh, let us uh, solve this inequality so here we have 7 uh, less than or equal to x square minus 2x plus 5 less than 8 and we can write this expression as x minus 1 square plus 4 less than uh, 8 and now uh, subtracting 4 throughout so here we have 3 here we have x minus 1 square and here we have 8 minus 4 that is 4 right okay so now uh, taking square root throughout so here we have square root of 3, here we have x minus 1, here we have 2, right? Now adding 1 throughout, we have 1 plus square root of 3, here we have x and here we have uh, 1 plus 2, 3. So this inequality is now equivalent to this one. So here we can now write 7 and here we have 1 plus root 3 is less than or equal to x and x is less than 3 right now viewers uh, the aim of uh, all this exercise is to express uh, this function fx in the form like this right so the value of f of x is 5 when x lies between 2 and 1 plus square root of 2 similarly the value of f of x is 6 when x lies between these two numbers and f of x is equal to 7 when x lies between 1 plus root 3 and 3 right so what does it mean it means we have to integrate this greatest integer function from 2 to 3 and if we see uh, here we have 2 and here we have 3 and uh, this is 2 this is 3 and uh, in between 2 and 3 we have the numbers uh, say here we have uh, 1 plus square root of 2 and uh, here we have 1 plus square root of 3 right so it means we have to integrate from 2 to 1 plus square root of 2 then 1 plus square root of 2 to 1 plus square root of 3 and then from 1 plus square root of 3 to 3 so i can be written as a sum of three integrals right so i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so i1 is from 2 to 1 plus square root of 2 f of x dx right i2 is from 1 plus square root of 2 to 1 plus square root of 3 f of x dx and i3 is from 1 plus square root of 3 to 3 f of x dx right now let us substitute the value of f of x here right so when we have uh, the interval 2 to 1 plus square root of 2 the value of f of x is 5 
so here we have uh, 2 to 1 plus square root of 2 here we have 5 dx and when we have uh, the integral from 1 plus square root of 2 to 1 plus square root of 3 the value of f of x is 6 dx and when we have the integral from 1 plus root 3 to 3 then the value of f of x is 7 dx right now we can easily evaluate these integrals so here we have i is equal to so here the integral of dx so we can take 5 outside this integral sign and we have uh, the integral from 2 to 1 plus square root of 2 dx then we have 6 here 1 plus root 2 to 1 plus root 3 dx and then we have 7 and uh, the integral is from 1 plus root 3 to 3 uh, dx right so now we have 5 here and integral of uh, uh, dx is equal to x so we have x here and the limits are from 2 to 1 plus square root of 2 here we have 6 integral of dx is x limits are from 1 plus square root of 2 to 1 plus square root of 3 and here we have 7 and the integral of dx is x and here we have 1 plus root 3 to 3 right so now uh, we can simplify this so here uh, we'll substitute the limits uh, for x and we'll take the difference so here we have 1 plus root 2 minus 2 and then we have 6 here we have 1 plus root 3 minus uh, 1 plus square root of 2 so we have minus 1 and minus root 2 and here we have 7 and we have 3 minus 1 minus square root of 3 right now here uh, we can write 5 and we'll have root 2 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 here we have 6 and here uh, 1 and 1 get cancelled so we have root 3 minus root 2 and here we have 7 and here we have 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 3 minus 1 is 2 and it is 2 minus root 3 now multiplying we have 5 root 2 minus 5 here we have 6 root 3 here we have 6 root 2 here we have 14 and here we have 7 root 3 so 5 root 2 and minus 6 root 2 is minus square root of 2 and 6 root 3 and 7 root 3 so here we have minus of square root of 3 and 14 minus 5 is 9 right so viewers the value of uh, this integral is 9 minus square root of 2 minus square root of 3.